When we talk about grass control and wheat, there are two times where you can get this done pre-emerge or post-emerge. Well, that sounds real scientific, Brian. We either kill the weed before it's up or we kill it yep. after it's up. Yep. This sounds pretty obvious to me. And when we're looking at that, you may say, well, that's just not telling me anything. But honestly, for most <laughs> wheat farmers across our country, it is. There are pre-emerge options for grass control. And when we look at a grass crop like wheat, getting the grass weeds under control is so critical and the timing is everything. For example, with many of the foxtails and even wild oats this spring, you can get them under control before they're even up in your crop by using a product like Prepare pre-emerge. Now there are some guys who will use other products like Olympus or Power Flex on winter wheat in the fall pre-emerge. We just want you to use a little bit of caution there because Olympus, for example, can carry over to certain crops that you might want to plant a year and a half later. Same thing with Maverick. Even Power Flex has more residual than what Prepare is going to. So just use a little bit of common sense here and know that if you're in a rotation, you got to be smart about what you're using. Okay. And using Prepare too, we get questions from a lot of wheat farmers across the country saying, all right, I'm going to try this pre-emerge herbicide. What rate do I use? Because the labeled rate is 0.3 ounces. And honestly, if your pH is 7 or below, you need that full rate to really get a good level of control. Above a 7 pH, especially above a 7.4, we see that that product is much more active in the soil. And there are a lot of farmers across the country telling us they're cutting the rate back to 0.2 ounces because they felt like it was even a little stronger than it needed to be where they had some overlap or you know point rows this kind of thing they actually say they've seen some injury here and there so 0.2 ounces is what they're going to use in the high ph soils 0.3 ounces in the low you know again follow the labeled rate talk to your agronomist in your area about what's working for you but we really don't want to ding the crop up because the way i look at it we aren't going to control 100 percent of the weeds out in our field with any pre emerge product really in about any crop. We're always going to have to come back post-emerge and clean up some escapes. So why take a chance with injury? If you need to cut the rate back or you're nervous about it, go ahead and do it and then come back with a good post-emerge option to clean things up. All right, talking about post-emerge, when we're in winter wheat, you can use different products than you can in spring wheat. So let's cover the winter wheat only products first. Here we're discussing PowerFlex, Maverick, Olympus. We really like seeing those sprayed post-emerge in the fall rather than the spring, but they could potentially be used in the spring. Just understand that if you're after a winter annual, like cheatgrass, for example, downy brome, you're not going to have nearly the control in the spring that you would in the fall. Also, these products aren't real fantastic on wild oats or even the foxtails. I would prefer one of these spring wheat herbicides that could also be used in winter wheat. But again, PowerFlex, Olympus, and Maverick, they are winter wheat only products just use them there and those products are all group twos they're all ALS herbicides they aren't ACCAS inhibitors like Axial Discover and Puma so we do have some different choices we've got two main chemical families we can use the ACCAS inhibitors or some other spring products that you could use that are ALS products would be Everest 2.0 that's a nice product that has the same active ingredient as Prepare plus it has a safe nurse so you can use it in crop without worrying about the injury that's very effective on wild oats and foxtails the other one would be Gold Sky that's another yeah. ALS product that's got a crop safener in it as well, and that's been a popular one over the last few years. Yeah, it is. It's just that a lot of people ask, now wait a second, I can only use PowerFlex in winter wheat. How come I can use Gold Sky in spring wheat, yet Gold Sky contains PowerFlex? Well, the reason why you can is because the Gold Sky has three times the crop safener. So that's the appropriate choice for spring wheat. PowerFlex can only be used in winter wheat. And Gold Sky isn't going to be perfect on grass control. I would prefer, if it was me, Axial, maybe Everest 2.0. But if you say, hey, I got both grasses and broadleaves, I'd like to just go with one thing, and I have a little bit of cheat out there, then Gold Sky is probably the way to go. I like what you said there, because I talk to farmers all the time that say, you know, I'm only going to drive out there one time. I want to spray broadleaves, and I want to spray grasses. What should I use? And my question is, well, how bad is the grass pressure? And guys are like, well, what difference does that make? It makes all the difference in the world because when you mix that broadleaf herbicide with the grass herbicide, you're going to get some antagonism, meaning when you mix them together, it's going to lower the level of control you get, especially on the grasses. Yep, so in other words, we want you to split apply the grass herbicide from the broadleaf herbicide if you have lots of grass plants out there. If you only have a few, no big deal. Talking about the spring wheat herbicides real quick, Axial is probably the best for tank mixing with broadleaf herbicides. We really like Axial as a wild oat product, but also as a foxtail 
killer. You also have available Puma, if you can still find some around the country, and Discover is out there too. Those are all ACCAs. Everest 2.0 and Gold Sky, again, are the ALS products. I like Everest 2.0 now that they have that safener along with the old Everest. So that's why we have Everest 2.0. It's safener plus old Everest. Well, when you think about grass control and wheat, don't forget about the pre-emerge herbicide option you have, especially with Prepare. Uh, that'll be a good option going into spring wheat this year. Then post-emerge, we have two different chemical families. We have the ACCase inhibitors like Axial. We have the ALS products like Gold Sky and Everest 2.0. So there are some choices. You definitely can get good grass control in your wheat this year. Well, the question is, will any of these products control our Wheat of the Week? We'll tell you coming up next.